Hi guys, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. You know, I've been wanting to get this video done for quite some time. And of course, business has been pretty strong. And of course, I've been staying busy with a lot of training and uh, working with folks out there. So again, I just want to say up front, I really appreciate all the comments that I get, questions that I get. I try to respond as best I can. And for a couple of you, uh, I think it's Piet, I'm going to respond to your question by actually doing a video on uh, a couple of the regulators you had asked about. So what I'd like to do in this video is talk about these three unique masks. And of course, we all know that masks are totally subjective, kind of like tennis shoes, but are so totally subjective. And there's um, quite, a, quite a few out there. So me discussing these, I want to talk about the unique features of these particular masks. And I think you're going to find it quite interesting, especially on this one right here. And I'm going to talk about it last. All right, so what are these three masks? What we've got here is, and, and these masks, this is not a paid um, review. This is, these are not provided free. Uh, these are based on a situation where they are fairly new. And I wanted to bring out some of the special features for you folks on just what we're seeing here. And what we see is, this is the TUSA, it's called the Integra. This is the Scuba Pro D-Mask. And then we've got the Cressy A1 over here. And this is, as they claim, a no-fog mask. Now, I've dove with all three of these masks, so I have first-hand knowledge of how they perform underwater during a scuba dive. And so I speak from experience and not just having it in my hand. What I'd like to do is I'm going to start here with the Integra first. Now the Integra is unique in the fact that the way the buckle mounts, and I'm going to try to get some close-ups of these three so you can understand what I'm talking about. The, the uniqueness of this mask is when you look at the buckles, and I'm going to put it right here. You're going to see that this buckle is connected to the skirt and not necessarily connected to the frame of the mask. So what Tusa says is that on the Integra, it does a better job fitting your face. Now, one of the things that, that I have found is that this skirt along this inside here is very, very comfortable. And they come both in the clear skirt and an opaque skirt. And it, uh, it, it is an extremely comfortable mask. It's got good field of vision. It's relatively low volume. So as far as that goes, it's, it's pretty damn comfortable. Now, when we look at the buckles and how the buckles adjust, this is a simple push the top and bottom button, and that allows you to almost one-handedly uh, adjust the, this particular strap on either side, which makes it kind of nice. Now, one of the things that they also talk about the skirt is that they say that the edge of this skirt is is rolled in the mold, which should fit you and be more comfortable. One of the other things that I've noticed, especially uh, on this mask of these three, is that this mask strap is a bit more substantial than, especially the, the, the Cressy, because the, the D mask utilizes a totally different system. But in comparing this mass strap to the, the 40 or 50 different ones that are out there on the sales floor, uh, it is more substantial. And one of the other things that 
I noticed, and you may be able to see right here, is that this strap it actually has a, a cupped uh, appearance to it and feel to it so that when it fits on your head, it actually cups that back crown of your head and makes it really, really comfortable. I also uh, kind of like the opening here in the middle. I'm one of those people that really enjoys the neoprene uh, slip over uh, strap that goes on a mask, uh, just makes it easier to slide on and off my head. When I dove with this mask, I felt that it was pretty comfortable. It did not it did not leak for me per se because, um, and I did a video, I'm gonna post it over here uh, about how to properly fit a mask, but it did not leak for me and I think I have kind of a, a normal face. I, I don't know if you guys think that or not, but uh, so it's one of those things where I felt this was a nice mask and again, tempered, tempered glass, good things like that. Uh, hypoallergenic uh, silicone and a nicely made and as far as pricing goes fairly decent price it's kind of in that mid price point of mask out there all right let's bring up and take a take a look at the D mask this mask is also available in a clear skirt like what you see here also the opaque skirt it's available in uh, two different sizes, a wide and a normal. They have some different kits for different coloring on the front. Now, this particular mask is unusual in that the lenses, yes, they're tempered, but the lenses have a slight yellow tint to them. Like you guys all know, when we drop down underwater, everything turns kind of blue. Uh, and so by having a little bit of that yellow color, in the lens, it helps normalize our, our color perception down there. And I believe Scuba Pro says that it also helps sharpen the contrast. One of the things that you're gonna notice is the strap that's on this mask. It actually, uh, I think it would come from like a ski mask. And we've seen some of these out there before. I think Oceanics had them and, and some of the others, but Scuba Pro has kind of come in big with these. It's also got a connection you can see right here where you put your snorkel. And this is able to slide back and forth on this strap. And you don't, you don't adjust this strap here at the buckle. You actually adjust this mask back here at the slider buckle, which can either tighten up or loosen the mask strap, and it's pretty handy. It's got a nifty case that's a little different than what we're used to seeing out there, uh, very unique. And uh, as far as this mask goes, I really liked the, the tint on the lenses. Uh, the mask was fairly comfortable. But I'm going to be honest with you, to me, and it was kind of hard to reach in beyond this, this big frame because trying to pinch my nose uh, and equalize in this mask was uh, not as easy as it was on the other two masks that, that I've got here in front of you. The mask also has some uniqueness in the skirt in that you'll see these little ridges, uh, small ridges across the top, big ridges on the side. And you'll see this in a number of the other Scuba Pro masks out there. And what they believe is that this makes fitting of the mask uh, easier, a little bit more comfortable. And I felt the mask was very comfortable, very easy to wear, and uh, as far as volume goes, it is a relatively low volume mask also. I liked it. Um, it is a little bit on the higher price range side of things. So that would be something you'd have to determine based on your billfold and, and your checkbook or whatever. Let's take a look at this third mask and it's a, 
It's a little unusual to me because of the claims. Now, I heard about this mask back in at the Atlanta um, Diver Supply uh, demo day, and I was chatting with the, uh, the Cressy rep. This is called the Cressy A1, and uh, he was telling me about this mask, and the thing that really surprised me is he was saying this is a no fog mask. And of course, we all, we all know as divers out there, dealing with a foggy mask, is it a big deal? No, you know, you're diving, you just tilt it, let a little water in, swish it around and, and, it's, and your fog's gone or you use some defog or whatever it happens to be. But this is claimed to be a no fog mask. I was extremely skeptical. Now, I want to talk about the mask itself before I talk about no fog or did it fog or whatever. So this also in the buckle is adjustable here. And just like on the D mask, we saw that the, um, the buckle is attached to the frame, whereas on the Integra, the buckle was attached to the skirt. I didn't find a problem really with any of any, either one or any of these. And of course, just like on the Integra, you pinch to do your adjusting here on the side and you've got your buckle and your keeper as such. The strap um, is a little less substantial than what I was talking about on the Integra, but I didn't find it um, flimsy. But uh, again, I'm the kind of guy that puts a, a neoprene you know, slap strap over this, so that doesn't make too much difference. And again, like the Integra, I like that this is open because I tend to use um, a slap strap, from, believe it or not, from Scuba Pro that's got a couple of pieces of Velcro that go connect right in here and help keep the strap secure and doesn't move around. And I've been using those for a few years, so I, I like the way those work. As far as the mask is concerned, it's to me the most comfortable of the three. Um, it was very easy to equalize. One of the things I noticed, and, and you might be able to notice again, I'll try to get some close up here. You'll see how the frame is pulled back from the nose pocket. I don't have a big nose, but I don't have a little nose. And I was very comfortable wearing this mask. It's a single lens unit where both of these others are twin lens units. And I just wanted to mention that prescriptions available for some of these, just look on. I'm gonna put links down below for all three of these. You'll be able to go onto the website, see which ones you can do lenses for and stuff. But this is a single lens. And this is reminiscent to me, if you look up here, I did a, a video on the Paragon by, by Tusa. And I really like that mask. For me, this is excellent competition for the Paragon and a lot less expensive. One of the things that I really noticed was no fog. Really, no joke, no fog. Uh, I was diving in an area that had uh, quite a bit of difference between body temp and water temp. And I, on purpose, cleared this mask over and over and over. And when I say cleared it, I actually didn't let water in. I just constantly blew out of my nose, just like I was clearing like it had water in it. But I wanted to see if I could build up fog in this mask. And, and it, it didn't. I was shocked. I would suggest probably as far as cleaning these, and, and I've made some comments before, um, I would be really careful about using any kind of mask or lens scrub on either the D mask or this mask. Uh, normally what I do is often, especially in prep, I'll take warm water and something like Dawn dishwashing detergent, my wife uses it, and I use it to 
get the silicone release off of any new mask that I have. And I did that to these three. And I also tend to do it often as I use a mask, all right? Because we all know your mask gets greasy or oily or whatever, and it's good to keep it nice and fresh. But I cleaned all these three the same way, and I constantly tried getting the mask to fog, and it just would not fog. And the yellow tint that you see on this one I think you guys can see that. These are available in opaque skirts and they're available either in clear lens or the yellow lens. And I wanted to try the yellow lens kind of in comparison since the Paragon, uh, excuse me, the, um, the D-mask had the slightly tinted lenses. And one of the things I did notice if I've got any kind of a con about the the Cressy No Fog A1, it would be, I would like something as far as tinting somewhere between what's here and what's on the D mask. A little bit lighter than here, but a little bit darker than what's on the D mask. In closing, I'll have to say that the Cressy A1 No Fog is my new favorite mask. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this short video on these three masks. If you haven't subscribed, please reach down there and hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. If you'd like to make comments, please make a comment and either hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. We appreciate it either way. And of course, we're on our way to 5,000 subscribers. Please, we don't, I, I actually looked at the analytics the other day and 80% of our viewers are not subscribers. And I'd really like to, to get up to that 5,000 mark, but I need your help to do it. And again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. Appreciate you watching. And as we always say out here, dive safe out there.